fondant. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to make a, a fondant rose and leaves to go with it. Um, so the tools I have, an offset spatula, a container of powdered sugar that um, has a mesh top so I can automatically um, sift. You, you must have um, powdered sugar on hand for dusting when you roll out your fondant. So something like this is handy, your fondant. Uh, I have a little a form um, to make the leaves and I'll show you how to use that later and a round cutter for forming the leaves of the rose or I'm sorry the petals of the rose as well as um, making my leaves. Rolling pin uh, and I have some food dye um, because we're going to color some of the fondant as well. Okay so you want to make sure you have a very clean work surface to roll your fondant. Um, clean the work surface, clean the rolling pin. If you've used it um, with flour and pastry dough, you wanna make sure it's entirely clean of anything so it doesn't mar your white fondant. Okay, I use my powdered sugar to dust my surface, just as you do when you're rolling out dough. Um, and like I said, if you have something like this with the fine mesh top, it does a very good job of just lightly dusting so you don't get a lot of extra sugar into your fondant. Okay, you wanna make sure your fondant is a, a nice consistency and workable, malleable. Um, if it's, for some reason, if it's become quite hard, you can gently warm it up in the microwave, flatten it out into a disc that just gives you a little bit of a head start on the rolling. If you want, you can dust the top too so it doesn't stick to your rolling pin. And just as you do with tart dough or pie dough or any other kind of dough when you're rolling, you wanna keep turning it in each direction so uh, it gets evenly stretched every way and you want to keep turning it to ensure that it's not stuck to your work surface. For the roses, I want a very thin, I'm picking up little bits of something, um, I want to roll it very thin. Thinner than if it were covering a cake, I would say about uh, eighth of an inch. Okay, so I only am working with a small piece because this is enough to show you how to make a rose and some leaves. Okay, after I have it rolled out, a little bit thinner here, with my round cutter, Cut the pieces that are going to work, uh, be the petals of the rose. Um, usually, I work with about five to seven, maybe eight petals per rose. Five would make a smaller um, bud, and seven or eight would be a more open, larger blossom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do seven. And I'm going to save this to do the uh, leaves okay, to make the form the roses. You want to take a little piece of fondant that's going to work as the center of the rose or the stamen. So I just in my hands I form a pointed tip, and then with the base of that. I flatten it out to make sort of like a little conical piece that can stand up and I can form my rose around it. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, now with each petal, um, around half of the circle, 
uh, what I want to do is pinch between a my forefinger and thumb or one of my fingers to make a thinner rose petal. So it looks more lifelike, okay? So if your dough, if you had rolled it, uh, rolled it about an eighth of an inch thick, I thin it out on half of that, just like that. And you wanna do that for all, I have of your all of my petal uh, edges nice and thin. So now I have a small container of water. I'm gonna use the water as glue to adhere the one piece of fondant to the other. So I can take a, a small brush or use your finger if you want, dip it in the water, and on the opposite side of the circle than your thinner edge, brush it with water to work as glue. Now the first petal, you're gonna wrap around your stamen. I'll lift it up so you can see. It's gonna go about, wrap all the way around like that, and then curve the end of the petal open a little bit, okay? Now, and you can see the nice thin edge on the top of the rose and the stamen in the center. Okay, then I take my next petal and find the thin part of the edge. Again, apply some water, and I'm going to place this one like so, wrap it around, open it up like this, and then at the base, pinch it. Okay, let's do the next one. Now I'm gonna start overlapping my petals like this. So that's three, that could be a bud. I'll do one more, makes a nice bud too, just four petals. So I could stop right there if I wanted to, but I'm gonna show you a larger rose. We'll do one more. So each petal gets opened up a little bit more, okay? Now the last thing I like to do to give it a lifelike quality is on the outer petals between um, my forefinger and thumb in the center of the petal, I give it a little pinch just like that. Okay, so there you have it. Now you have extra fondant down here that you don't need. So I can break that off and then I can reuse that piece for the center of my next rose. And this rose is done. And at this point, um, it can go on the cake. You can uh, put it on a sheet pan and store it. Um, if you want them to stay soft um, and more pliable, you store them in the refrigerator because the, the condensation will keep it from drying out. If you prefer that it dry out, um, you can rest it just like this at room temperature and probably in 24 or 48 hours, it would be uh, dried out and very, very firm no longer really edible. Um, okay, so that's the rose. Now let me show you a leaf. Okay, I'll put that guy right there. So a very easy way to make a leaf. If you don't have a leaf cutter, you use your same round cutter. So I have the circle here. And then what I would do is cut like so, and have a leaf shape. And then here, I can do it again and make a second one. These don't have to be any particular size. You can make some smaller, some bigger. 
Um, I have this little form. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is, um, it has a, a, a veins on it to mimic a leaf. So if you have one of these, you would take your cutout leaf. I just push it on there to get the impression of the veins of the leaf, peel it off, and it has a more lifelike look. I hope you guys can see that in the camera. Then with the leaves, um, instead of just drying them flat, um, I like to give it a little bit of life and perhaps bend it a little bit so it looks more to life. Okay, and you can do that a number of ways. Um, just kind of push up the tip or bend both tips up or curl up on the side, however you like. And it just gives your, your rose and your leaf a little more life, like I said. Okay, so same thing. If you want these to stay soft, soft keep them in the refrigerator. If you want them to dry out, leave them out. So that would go at the base of your leaf. Um, also, if you do not have the leaf impression, you can simply take a paring knife and make a little bit of indentation to mimic a leaf that way without cutting through and just give it a little bit of life-like and curve it as well. Okay, so that's the fondant rose.